This man strolling casually through a market in Taiwan's Taipei, shared on the platform X, is no ordinary man. He is one of the richest people in the world. Jensen Huang is the CEO of NVIDIA, which is worth more than Meta, Tesla, and is catching up to Amazon in Alphabet. Shares of NVIDIA have soared this year, bringing the company's valuation to $1 trillion. It's one of only a handful of publicly traded companies valued at a trillion dollars or more. NVIDIA is a chip maker that has gone from powering gaming to powering AI systems. It's the brainchild of Jensen Huang, who studied electrical engineering at Oregon State and Stanford before founding NVIDIA in 1993 with two friends. The three engineers sealed the deal at a Denny's, where Jensen waited tables as a student, which helped pull him out of his shell. I remember calling my mom and telling her that I'm going to start this company, and she says, you know, what do you, what do you guys do? And I said, we build these things called 3D graphics chips, and, and um, uh, people would use them to play games. And, and then she, she said, why don't you go get a job? <laughs> he had a different perspective from his mom. Jensen grew up at the start of the video game era and understood how big the gaming industry could get. Our common sense was unique. Nobody would have created the technology, nobody would have created the company with the sole purpose of building technology to make video games possible. Two, one, go! NVIDIA focused on building powerful graphics processing units, GPUs, to make video game graphics appear more smooth and realistic. When NVIDIA went public in 1999, with Jensen owning 3.6% of the company, video games became its primary growth driver. And then Hollywood came calling using NVIDIA graphics for making movies and hospitals for medical imaging. With its success, NVIDIA was living up to its Latin name NVIDIA, meaning envy. The founders had considered names containing NV as they had a habit of labeling their project files next version. NVIDIA became the envy of the tech world in a fiercely competitive market. Dozens of 3D graphics companies started popping up in Silicon Valley and soon hundreds. So how did NVIDIA manage to pull ahead of the competition? Exceptional CEOs are constantly striving to improve. They appreciate the impact of Moore's Law, which predicts a doubling of computing power roughly every two years due to the ability to fit ever smaller transistors onto microchips. For Jensen, this principle encapsulates the need for continuous innovation. He realized that 3D graphics could be used for a lot more than video games. For example, NVIDIA invested in a struggling company called Keyhole, which had created a remarkable 3D virtual world. You could start out in space, type in any address, and be transported there immediately, right down to street level, where you could view buildings and houses. Google eventually bought that company and rebranded it as Google Earth. Jensen's fascination with 3D mapping the Earth could perhaps be traced to his international upbringing. Born in Taiwan and raised in Thailand, civil unrest forced his parents to send him and his brother to the US where his aunt and uncle, who were already in the States, arranged for him to attend what they believed was a boarding school in Kentucky. It was actually a Christian reform school intended for juveniles with behavioral problems. Despite its tough environment where kids carried pocket knives, Jensen grew resilient and ultimately appreciated his time there. His parents eventually arrived in America and they settled as a family outside of Portland, Oregon. While studying at Oregon State, Jensen fell in love not only with engineering, but with his lab partner, Lori, who became his life partner. They married and had two children, both of whom now work at NVIDIA. Jensen recognized that for NVIDIA to stay ahead of the curve, it had to expand the use of its technology beyond gaming and Google Earth. NVIDIA made the strategic decision to program its GPUs to fuel deep learning, a branch of artificial intelligence that mimics the human brain's ability to recognize patterns and process data much more quickly and accurately than a human can. NVIDIA allocated billions of dollars to develop more powerful chips capable of supporting artificial intelligence applications. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's largest graphics card. NVIDIA quickly dominated the AI space, reportedly capturing 95% of the market for graphics processors used for machine learning. All the big tech companies rely on NVIDIA in their data centers, like Amazon's AWS. Elon Musk recently highlighted the critical role of NVIDIA's technology in powering Tesla's self-driving software. We'll, we'll actually take NVIDIA hardware as fast as NVIDIA will deliver it to us. Tremendous respect for uh, Jensen and NVIDIA. They've done an incredible job. However, NVIDIA has struggled to supply all the A100 chips Tesla needs because it has so many customers. 
And with demand for Teslas increasing, the electric car company is investing over a billion dollars to build its own AI supercomputer, dubbed Dojo. And frankly, I don't know, if they could deliver us enough GPUs, we, we, we might not need a dojo, but they can't. NVIDIA's cutting-edge chip is so precious that Washington has banned the export of the A100 and its successor, the H100, to China, Hong Kong, and Russia out of fear could be used by their armed forces. Despite NVIDIA's utter dominance, Jensen isn't slowing down. He wants NVIDIA to make the training of AI models over 1 million percent faster than it currently is. Much like the GPUs he pioneered, Jensen Huang's story isn't about numbers or performance metrics. It's about the relentless pursuit of progress and the courage to steer a company in a new direction when there's an untapped opportunity. And when it comes to untapped opportunities, there are perhaps none greater than an AI. You can foster Jensen's love for learning and problem solving with Brilliant, a website and app where you can learn math, data science, and computer science interactively. You can explore the world of artificial intelligence with Brilliant's Introduction to Neural Networks course, where you'll gain an understanding of how AI brains operate and learn. Brilliant is part of my daily routine. I like to dive into their logic puzzles, which are a fun challenge. There's something for everyone, from beginners to advanced learners of STEM. You can start with a free 30-day trial of Brilliant by signing up with my custom link in the description, brilliant.org slash newsthink. And the first 200 people to sign up through my link will receive a 20% discount on Brilliant's premium annual subscription, unlocking all of the courses. Thanks for watching. For Newsthink, I'm Cindy Palm.